Chick, chick. Got your favorite. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna get that in there. It's a big one. I'm gonna go through the net. There you go. Pull it in there. Waddles knows what to do. It's their favorite time of year. They get fresh tomatoes every day. Pull it in there. That will be gone soon. Waddles, he ain't, he ain't letting the girls eat first today. Thanks, Waddles. Enjoying this 59 degrees. Yeah, it's cool, but it ain't gonna last. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. If you missed yesterday's video, I started pulling off the body mounts of my 2012 F250 4, 4x4, and where I left off. I've got all three of these loose, the bolts loose on this side, it beat me to death. And I've got the front one on the other side, the bolt is completely out, and the bolt is completely out of the one in the rear. However, the one in the center is busted off. So what I'm going to do this morning, before I finish yesterday, I got all these bolts backed off, so they're to a point that they shouldn't be a problem. Uh, getting the rest of the way out So I'm gonna back them off even more Even just about to where they're about ready to come out And I'm gonna come over here and replace this one first As you can see there's one of the old ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one Then I'm gonna skip back here to the back and replace this one Then I'm gonna go over to the other side and replace those and I'm going to deal with this bolt that's broke last. And there is an access port for that cage nut. Let me see if I can get in there and show you what that looks like. It has this little cover. And then down in there is the cage nut. Uh, it's probably not very well lit but anyway it's like a square that that is tack welded to and as you can see you can still see the bolt head <laughs> that bolt must have been sticking out far let me show you the bolt gotta remember to put that back in before I'm done here's the broken bolt now, I do believe this bolt is shorter than these bolts because the one in the middle, the one in the middle is different. I am hoping so. I don't really know how I'm going to approach that, but I want to get these two done first because I'm going to have to raise this body up and I'm going to attempt to get in there with some vice grips and heat the hell out of that and back it out. Uh, I don't know at this point. I don't have the cutting torches and things like that to properly deal with it I wish I would have never started this project, but it's too late now to stop So with those being in that way that when I'm messing with that one, it can't drop uh, I'm gonna try to keep my fingers out of there the best I can but I just wish it wasn't so damp out right now So anyway, I'm gonna get under there guys last night I just collapsed in my recliner. My arms hurt so bad in my chest from fighting these bolts. Uh, <laughs> pay the money. Have someone else do it. I'm too old to be. This be the last thing I ever work on of this degree. So 
I'm gonna get started man because it's gonna be 10 degrees hotter than it was yesterday and I got to get all this done all right I am not one to give up on stuff usually but I'm trying to get the front one out down here put heat on it you know it was already loosened up yesterday but like all the others they are hard all the way out and I heated it for a long time and I was twisting on it twisting on it and bam the cage nut broke so I'm just gonna have it towed because I I can't I was willing to deal with the one broken bolt highly unlikely I would have got that fixed but I was willing to try but now I've got this uh, for and I've still got two more bolts to get out on on this side so before any further damage is done you know that's why I wanted two vehicles I got two trucks one's been in the shop for 10 months that's another story so now I'm stuck with no vehicle and now probably you know it, it probably won't be a thousand dollars because I've got the parts and that was a big part of it but it's gonna be a big bill and I've got to have this towed out of here it can't drive so <laughs> I guess some old credit cards I got will finally get it used because this is a big hit but they got the stuff to deal with it the torches you know welders whatever they need to do I am not equipped for that and honestly when the cage nut broke it my hand slammed I've already got bad carpal tunnel so I, I had no business even starting this but i didn't have no idea and i've done them on other vehicles i think a dodge and two other chevys and i think i did them on my 96 ford uh that i had they were nothing like this uh had i known had i got on and watched some of the i only watched a few videos to see what parts they were using but i didn't watch the videos about how difficult it was to get these out and if you go watch that videos on them you'll see everybody struggles so this is a job that's better done in a shop environment uh, i just don't have the tools that i would need to do something like this and honestly i don't have the strength <laughs> that i used to have so i learned a valuable lesson uh, i'm sure i could probably let it sit here a week and, and get it done but man i don't want the aggravation and i don't want the wear and tear last night i was so exhausted sitting in my chair i mean i couldn't even get up and eat dinner my arms hurt so bad <laughs> it took it out of me man i was putting everything i had in with every turn of that socket i ain't never seen anything that hard to work on Whew. and yeah a lot of people commented why didn't you use an impact well i have an impact but you can't i mean i broke a bolt with my with just my hands that's how fragile those things are you use an impact it breaks you'd have to know what a cage nut is it's just tack welded in to where when you put the bolt in it stays put but they're not in there very strong and they have little ears that hold them and you'll break those ears right off i even actually went out and got my impact yesterday to get that middle one on the other side loose because it was to the point where i could probably ease it with the impact but I couldn't find the sockets because they're in my other truck with a lot of my tools. Breaker bars, everything are in the toolbox of my other truck. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what else we can piddle around with here. But I don't know. I'm giving up and I don't want to do any more damage. Like I say, I got the parts. Uh, hopefully they'll take it in. I mean, a lot of mechanic shops don't like taking stuff somebody else started these are pretty much self-explanatory i'll go in and talk to the guy uh it's just hard getting a vehicle in somewhere here and this it could be there for weeks who knows so we'll see well if all that wasn't bad enough out there with the truck i walk in i hear my new and by new i mean i bought this last august yeah not even a year it's making some kind of screeching noise I mean, it's too cool right now to run. It was running for a little bit. It'll cycle on, and I don't know what, you know what they do. But it's making a noise, so I'm going to have to see what's going on with that. I haven't had any trouble with it cooling, but it's never made that noise either. And 
and go outside here. <laughs> you can see I didn't even bother putting the trim back up because these only last one to two years anymore. It ain't, it ain't clogged up or anything in there. I don't know. We'll just have to watch it. I've never heard it make that noise. Uh, well, everything goes in, in cycles. Everything can be good for months and months and months. And then, bam! All at once. But life is good. Well, what's going on in here? Boy, I can't believe you ain't fell through that chair yet. You've got this thing scratched so thin. You're going to be in for a surprise. Uh, what did you want? You were in here hooting at me. What does that mean? Help. I'm making eggs. I don't have no bacon. Help. What about spam? Help. No? Help. Would you like an egg? What about Lily? One thing she gets mad at, watch her. I'll pet her, she'll be nice, and then I'll say, you know, you remember when I got you? You were just a widow bitty baby. <laughs> she tries to bite at me. You were a widow bitty baby. Nah, you don't like that, do you? Widow bitty baby. Lily. Big old chubby Lily. Boy, I don't think anybody out there likes you. What do you think of that? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they do. Help! Help! You're just a Waldo. You're nothing more than a Waldo. Help! 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 As goofy as they make them. What are you girls out here doing? You know, I walked through about 15 spider webs coming back here. Yeah. Is this for you guys to hang out in the morning? Well, don't jump up on the benches. You'll fall right through. Where's Tilly? Come here. You guys be careful. I've got that toilet seat there because there's nails sticking up. Yeah, this thing needs to get tore down, but they like it. I could leave the deck for them. You guys, why are you running away? Be that way. And I found a use for the dog kennel. I'm raising these Cedarus Caninus dogus. This is, this is, this is, yeah. All this cedar is good, but it has a lot of nails and stuff I gotta take out. So it's a good place to store it in here. And uh, some more, there's more on the porch to be brought in. I do got racks up here, but too lazy to put it up there. What are them things hanging off there? What is them things? I don't know. Are they alive? It's like a piece of rubber or something. I don't know. All right. And there's yesterday's harvest. But let's go out here. I, I made a clip of the garden in yesterday's video, but it didn't work. Ah, they're just cycling over, I guess. There's still some tomatoes. Yeah, I still got quite a few to get. But uh, they're not looking so healthy no more. <laughs> I don't know. I've had too much other things. Man, look at this spaghetti squash coming way out here. And let's see. It's hard to walk in here. There's one there. It's far from ready, but it's good size. That's a spaghetti. It looks like a watermelon, but it's not. Uh, it needs to turn yellow. Now, I do got one up here that's yellow. But it ain't ready to pick yet. That stem will get a little brown. But I don't know. That thing hasn't grown anymore. And it's pretty small. Ain't going to be much eating there. But, uh, I haven't checked to see if I have any okra. Uh, there's a good size green pepper right there. And what about... Oh, yeah, I got to get in here and get these jalapenos. And the weeds. The poisonous weeds. What's up with you, man? How come you ain't give me no okra yet? I think this one's got some okra on it. You people in the north don't eat okra, do you? Oh, yeah, this is ready to pick. 
I have to cut, come and cut that off. You really don't want to get them more than three or four inches long. I just hadn't been, I've been occupied. All right, let me weave through here. I'm just trying to fill up this poor excuse of a video, guys. Since it didn't come out as how I planned. Yeah, I picked some off here the other day. Still, no peppers yet on this ghost pepper. And it's healthy. All right. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Disappointment. But I know what my limits are. And physically, I can't do it physically. My hand hurts so bad, and I just didn't have the strength. Man, the first few turns of that did me in. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Happy trails.